Hello folks. Well this video is for the newer electric flyers who have asked me about BEC circuits. Well BEC stands for Battery Eliminator Circuit and most good ESCs, that's the electronic speed control for motors, contain them. They are a separate circuit built into the ESC that provides 5 or 6 volts to run the radio receiver and the servos. The question arose when I was asked what would happen if you plug a receiver 4.8 nickel metal hydride battery into the receiver along with the electronic speed control with the BEC at the same time. The answer is possibly the external battery overcharging and or possible BEC burnout. It's definitely not recommended especially if you're using non-rechargeable batteries. So I'm going to show you how you can do it though in a minute so you have a total backup and peace of mind. Some of you know I've worked on battery backup systems for over 40 years and my earliest one was actually published in 1991 in Radio Helicopter England magazine and also in Model Aviation magazine here in the US. Well I'd like to show you the magazines but they were actually burned up in that fire too so here is an article as published in the Capistrano Aero Dumper newsletter and it's the same as the magazine articles. I still have the newsletter. Well, back in those early days, all the technical transistors and diodes were being developed and not well known to all of us in the electrical RC modeling, as electric helis and planes were really sketchy back then before there were LiPos, which changed everything. Well, in this case, from this article, I was working on a battery backup for the electric helicopters for their main motor batteries. I used a relay to do the backup. It was really great. As soon as the first battery got low, the relay coil that was energized by that battery became low enough to release and switch to the smaller battery backup, giving person plenty of time to land safely. And then later on I made a simpler one that I demonstrated on my RQ11 Raven by using a servo with a switch so I could switch it manually to the second battery from the transmitter. Well this actually doubled the flight time as I used both the same size batteries. And since there was more room in the fuselage of the Braven than the helicopter for this type of arrangement, it really worked perfect. I put a link into the description box so you can actually see that video. Okay, back to the receiver BEC and batteries. First of all, to run the ESC with a separate receiver battery, you simply cut the red wire from the BEC going to the receiver and it will still run the motor and speed control allowing you to still use it with the external 4.8 battery to run your radio. To run them both though and give you peace of mind with total glitch free backup you've got to try using a shot key diode for the battery switcher. I'm sure many longtime electric flyers and electronic folks know about this diode but this demo is for those who actually don't know and those that ask me about it. They're cheap and I bought 10 of them from eBay for about a buck a piece. I used the 15 amp 45 volt ones which will switch many size batteries instantly and there's no glitching. The way they work is like this. The BEC or battery with the highest voltage runs till it becomes missing or drops below the voltage of the second battery which it will switch automatically and your receiver's not going to miss a beat. I used this setup for my electrified Byron F-16 as I didn't want anything to happen on this rare bird like an unexpected BEC burning out. I had a separate BEC once break a wire at the circuit board and it quit along with the receiver and I crashed. So I'm always cautious these days about BECs. I mean, what could go wrong, right? So here's a few pictures and diagrams of the hookup and a simple demo. I hope this helps you out, give you a little bit of peace of mind if you're running an electric and a BEC and you want to have that backup hard battery in there. So here we go. Okay, to demonstrate how it works here, I've got the external battery right here for the receiver. This is 4.8, actually it's about 6 volts there. And that is plugged in through the Schottky diode here and into the receiver throttle channel. Along with the Jetty uh, electronic speed controller which has the BEC and this of course goes through the shot key uh, diode and also connects to the throttle channel. Now you can see everything here is working. Both batteries are plugged in, motors running, servos uh, moving, everything's fine. Now if I shut off this BEC right here we're going to lose its 
five volts that run the receiver. And if you watch, you're not going to see anything jump whatsoever off. And of course, everything still works. So the advantage is, if your airborne flight battery pack that's running the motor runs down too low, you may not have enough power to run your servos to get back home. So this is a good uh, backup because what happens is this battery is now running the receiver. Now, <clears throat> if I was to turn this back on and unplug this one, so now that battery is unplugged completely and of course you can see servos not a single thing has is, is changed everything is running just fine so this makes an instant backup so uh, I just thought I'd show you how that works I hope this will help you out some of you newer guys that are into electrics might want to do that I hope this answers your questions so there we go thanks a lot for watching folks